Hi, and welcome to this video, how do I develop word layouts in the development environment in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015. My name is Klaus Lundström, MVP for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. This video was made in collaboration with Platan and Microsoft. At the end of this video, we will see how we can modify a word layout from inside the development environment in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015. In previous videos, we have seen how we, an end user could modify a word layout from inside the client. The objective of this video is to show you how to make a few simple changes to a built-in word layout in the development environment in Microsoft NAV 2015. So in this video, we will now focus on the NAV consultant or the NAV developer and not the end user. We will also see that we can control which report is the default report running in the client. Default layout is, new, is now a new property on the report in the object designer. Designing word layout is found in the menu, tools and word layout, and the default layout is a new property on the report, and it defines which report, RDLC or Word, should be the default layout for the report out of the box. As long as the active layout has not been changed in the report layout selection page in the client, this property controls which layout will be used. So we're now starting and we're now step number one and we will edit the word layout in the object designer. We will design the sales invoice report 1306. We will select tools, word layout and export the word document. We will save it to the desktop and we'll open it in Word and we'll make a few modifications in Word and then we'll import it back into NAV 2015 again. So we're now in the Microsoft Dynamics NAV development environment 2015 and we want to make changes to the 1306. This is a report we know that it has both the Word and the RDLC layout and we want to modify the Word layout that is in this report object right now. So I will open up the designer and now when I have opened the designer I can see tools and then there's a new uh, menu here called Word layout. What I'll do now is I'll export it out. Uh, I'll export it out to the desktop, say save, go to my desktop and in my desktop I will open up my uh, Word document that I have here. And I can start making my changes. Uh, I really like to have my customer address. I would like to have it red and I'd like to have it bold. I'd like to have the document number here. I would like to have that bold as well. So let's bold this. I also like to have, in this case here, let's try to do something a bit different. Uh, let's make a shading and we put a background color and let's make it blue. And we'll go down here and say OK. And then I delete, uh, let's delete this field here. That's, I don't want to have that in my report. So delete. And we could also make a background color here so it's illustrate. Easy to see uh, that we have deleted this. So make a color here and let's make it orange. So we'll say OK and OK. And if we scroll a little bit down with the lines down here, we can go on the table and we can make a small modifications here. So let's go to designer and then have, let's take this one here for example. And uh, now we're done. So I'll make my save this uh, document. And uh, now this uh, layout is ready to be uh, imported into NAV, uh, the development environment. So let's go back to development environment. And now I'll go tools, tools, come on, tools. And I'll go word layout. And then I will import uh, the layout, which is found here. And I'll say open. And now it's in. I will save and compile my, uh, my object. And I'm now ready to run it. So we're now step number two, setting the default layout property. First, we will run the report from the object designer. And then we'll notice that the IDC report is printed and not the word report that we just changed. We will then change the default layout to Word, then we run the report again, and then we'll notice that the web report is now printed. We will then go and change the active report in the client and notice that the default layout in the report is no longer used since the end user has modified the record. So back in NAV, uh, we now want to see our changes that we have done in Word. So let's go and run this report. So file and run. We get the uh, uh, request page open and then we go preview. And we see that now that, the, well, this is not the Word report that's running, it's the RDLC report that's running. So let's modify this. So let's go back to the uh, to the object designer. Uh, and then we want to change this. So I can go from the, on this report here, I can go to the end of the, the, the object. Uh, I can select the properties. And now there's a new property called uh, default layout. We'll change this to Word. Uh, and then we'll uh, close down the properties and we'll save and compile. So now the, uh, the default layout is Word and not RDLC. So let's run the report again. So run. And when we go to the, uh, to the rotator client and we go uh, preview, we see that now Word is opening up. I prefer opening it in a PDF, so let's just run it again. So let's go run and print a PDF. 
and we now see the uh, changes that we have done in the object because now we're running the uh, the word uh, document the, or the word report. We see the changes are they're, they're red here for the font. Uh, the invoice number is uh, blue. The uh, you can see the, the fields here that I deleted, and the uh, table here is now the designed how I designed it in Word. So I'm happy with my, my layout. Maybe I want to work a little bit, but on the logo here, but that's a that's a minor thing that I can fix easy. Uh, but let's not not do this now. So this is great. Uh, now this, this report is, is working perfectly and it's being uh, activated uh, uh, when you run this, uh, for example, also from the, uh, the posted documents. Uh, so let's take this guy, for example. Uh, sorry for the posted sales invoices. So uh, back to John Haddock and we print this and we uh, print to PDF. This is the active report that is actually in the system. So I'm happy, um, but just pay attention to one thing here because if the user goes and uh, make some small modifications in the report layout selection page. So if he changes uh, this, uh, the user will be the uh, master and will be the one who's deciding uh, what uh, what would be uh, activated and, uh, and run. So I've just made the to IDSC and if I go back to the object designer and now run the report and say run. And uh, I will now go preview and uh, again, we're back in the RDLC uh, layout here, so pay attention to this. So to summarize, we first exported the Word layout from the object designer, we made a few modifications to the layout in Word, and then we imported our, modif our modified Word layout back into NME 2015. We then printed the report, and we noticed that the default layout was set to RDLC layout, so we could not see our modifications since the report was printing the, the RDL layout and not the Word layout. We then changed the default layout to Word and then printed the report. And finally, we learned, we learned that the default layout has no effect when the user has modified the record. I hope you enjoyed this How Do I video. I'm Klaus Lundstrom, MVP for Microsoft Dynamics NV. Thanks for watching.